Hey, this is Presh Tolwalker. Consider a glass that has four balls inside of it. The glass has an inner diameter of 10 centimeters and an inner height of 10 centimeters. Each of the four balls has a diameter of five centimeters. How much water do you need to exactly cover to the top of the balls? You can assume the glass is a right cylinder the four balls are identical perfect spheres, and that the top two balls are placed at a 90 degree angle to the bottom two balls. I want to give a huge thanks to Stephen Larangis for solving this problem. When I attempted it, I got the wrong answer, and I only learned what I did wrong by reading Stephen's solution write-up. I also thank Zach and Tomas for independently sending me this problem. So apparently it's a very popular meme and it turns out to be a very tricky geometry problem. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So one way to approach this problem is to consider looking from the very top of the glass. What would you see? Well, from the top, you would see the border of the glass as a perfect circle. The two spheres in the top layer, their border would appear as two perfect circles that are tangent to each other and tangent to the glass. The spheres in the bottom layer would appear to be the same except they're rotated 90 degrees and some of the circle may be covered up by the spheres in the top layer. But if we had x-ray vision, the border of the bottom spheres would look like perfect circles that are tangent to each other and tangent to the glass. So now let's consider the centers of these circles. The diameter of each sphere is 5. So that will be true of the spheres in the bottom layer and the top layer. Therefore, the radius of each sphere is 2.5. From this diagram, we can then consider the horizontal distance between the center of a sphere in the top layer and the center of a sphere in the bottom layer. We have a right triangle where each side is 2.5. Therefore, the hypotenuse will be 2.5 times the square root of 2. So we've deduced that 2.5 times the square root of 2 is the horizontal distance between the centers of a top and bottom sphere. We'll now consider a right triangle with the following sides. We'll connect the hypotenuse as the centers of a bottom sphere and a top sphere. This will have a length of two times the radius of the sphere, which is five, because the spheres are tangent to each other. Next, the other leg will be the horizontal distance between the centers, and the third side will be the vertical distance between the centers, and this will be what's allowing us to figure out how tall all of these four balls are in the glass. So we end up with a right triangle that's like this. It connects the centers of two spheres and we have the horizontal and vertical distance. So we already know that the hypotenuse is equal to five. We just figured out the horizontal distance is 2.5 times the square root of two. And therefore the remaining side will also be 2.5 times the square root of two. So now, we figured out 2.5 times the square root of 2 is also the vertical distance between the centers of a top and bottom sphere. So we can now figure out how high the four balls are in the glass. If we look from the side, we'll end up with a sphere on the bottom layer, and then we'll have two spheres on the top layer as follows. And we want to know how tall are these spheres from the bottom of the glass to the top of the glass. So we know each sphere has a radius of 2.5. So that'll give us some indication of the vertical distance. 
And we then figured out the tricky part, which is the vertical distance between the center of a sphere in one layer to the center of the sphere in the other layer, and that's 2.5 times the square root of 2. So the total vertical distance will be the sum of all these lengths, which will be 5 plus 2.5 times the square root of 2. We can now proceed to figure out how much water we need to fill to the top of these four balls. So consider a cylinder that goes from the bottom of the glass all the way to the top of these four balls. The water that will be needed to fill to this top will be the volume of this cylinder to cover all these balls minus the volume of the four balls. The volume of a cylinder is pi times its radius squared times its height. Each sphere has a volume of 4 thirds pi r cubed, and then we multiply that by 4 because there are 4 balls. The cylinder has a radius of 5 and a height of 5 plus 2.5 times the square root of 2. The sphere each has a radius of 2.5. So we can substitute in these parameters and then we can simplify for the answer, which is 125 pi over 6 times the quantity 2 plus 3 times the square root of 2. And this is approximately 408.58 cubic centimeters. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can check out my books, which are linked in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon. You can also catch me on social media, either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker.